Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lorgan 111, and welcome back to Animal Well. Since last time, I've been using my mapper program and trying to cover rooms with UV light. And so all the ones that you're seeing uh, glowing with the red X's over here that I'm highlighting uh, are ones that I have already gone through. And I have found a couple of interesting things. Um, for example, over here, on the right hand side, you can see like there's a dog face. And over here, there's, I don't know if that's like a vampire bat on the wall or something. Uh, but I have found a couple of places here and here where there's kangaroo art on the back wall. And this one in particular, uh, there was a boss battle with the kangaroo again. <laughs> uh, and he immediately killed me because I was down to one heart when I reached there. So I thought we should go back there to start off today's episode. So I think I have us kind of prepared. And so if we take a look at our inventory, I've got three firecrackers. And I think that's the main thing. And right now I've got three hearts, but there is another fruit right here. Here's where we are on the map, by the way. And so I think I can just go three screens to the left. And if I shine the UV light, hopefully the kangaroo will appear. Um, it seems like the easiest way to get across this screen that I have found is to... Uh, that's the wrong spot for it, though. Uh, let me just go ahead and throw it from here. <laughs> so that gets all the dogs chasing the frisbee. Uh, gosh darn it. But if you can land on the frisbee... Gosh darn it. <laughs> We're off to a great start today. There we go. Then you can just fly right across. Okay, so, on the screen, if I shine a UV light, there will be a kangaroo, and I think he's going to come attack me. So, let me get ready for him. Here we go. Okay, last time he showed up. And so, of course, now he's scared. Hmm. <laughs> That's frustrating. I'm ready to attack him. Does he not show up if I have three firecrackers? That seems kind of silly. It seems like that's too smart for a kangaroo. In any case, the same kangaroo art that appears here also appears somewhere else. So let's go there and see if we see it. So this screen is familiar. And the other place that I've seen the kangaroo art is behind the duck over here. Yeah, it's right here. But once again, the kangaroo is not attacking us. And there are firecrackers on the screen. I wonder if there's any chance that the kangaroo doesn't show up if you already have three firecrackers. So just in case that's the case. Suppose I throw a firecracker over here. For no good reason. And then I come back on the screen and shine the UV. Still no kangaroo. All right. <laughs> um, this might be tougher than I thought. Well. I guess I'll continue to look around with the UV light and try to bring you back when something interesting happens. Okay, well, here's some fun graffiti that I found down in the corner. Yeah, and things like the bone that I've been meticulously <laughs> looking for in the background using the flute shine up very well uh, over here with the UV light. And so, perhaps as expected, uh, it is the case that a lot of what I've done will probably turn out to be like a waste of time. Um, hey Top, go uh, go make the bottom safe for me so I can jump down in here. Thank you Top, you're doing a good job. So now if I hop in here with UV light. So here's another thing that I've discovered in a lot of places. There's like just a little egg on the wall. I'm not sure what it means. So now I'm down here on the map, and one of the things I've had on my to-do list for a while was to find out if this boss battle is, like, winnable. I happen to be holding three firecrackers. So do firecrackers do things against you? It isn't clear to me if you're upset by the firecracker or not. And it seems like not. So is there something else I could do against you? I doubt the top is going to do anything. Ouch. Frisbee doesn't seem to be doing anything. Ouch. Uh, Yo-Yo 
you're going to come down here and try to eat me. So I kind of doubt it. Ah, darn it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, dear. Oh! There was like a place that I broke open over there. Okay. Well, we died to the ostrich again. <laughs> and now I'm way back up here. Yeah. Alright. Well, I'm gonna keep doing stuff. I found the kangaroo again! And, of course, I don't have any woody calls. Okay, but he's right over here, and actually there are... Let's assume he stays there. There are firecrackers nearby. Okay. Um, my health is back up. And there's two firecrackers here. And then there's also a couple places I can get a firecracker. Oh, he's hit back. He's back. Okay. Firecrackers, where are you? There we go. I've only got two right now. <laughs> there's another firecracker just like a screen over here. Oh my gosh. That startled me so much. Uh, this is the wrong way to go to get the firecracker. Gosh darn it. Okay, and now he's just going to come surprise me here, right? Or if I don't bring out the UV light, maybe he doesn't? I think I needed three firecrackers to defeat him before. There is another firecracker right up here. And there's also some health. Uh, here's some health. And is there a firecracker over here? Yes. Okay, great. So then if I come back down here, and then I try to anger the gods... Now he's not going to come? <laughs> Son of a gun! Why does he keep doing this to me? Okay, so it was just over here that we saw him again? Yeah. But it keeps surprising me when I don't have firecrackers. Darn it. Well, here's yet another place with the kangaroo, but once again, this time I have three firecrackers in my inventory, so of course he doesn't show up. So one of the things I noticed under the UV, by the way, is that one, two, and four seem to be top, middle, and bottom lines over here. So that seems to correspond to the egg codes over here. I imagine until I have all 64, like, it might not be meaningful. But in any case, for example, the lower left egg, I guess, would be a 2 and a 4, so that would be, like, 6. This one would be 4. This one would be 0. And, yeah, I would be able to decode all of them like that, I presume. They're so pretty when it's not under the UV light, though. kind of don't want to look at it that way. But yeah, I've gotten a lot more of the... Yeah, so here's an egg. And remind me, actually... So there's egg art on the wall here. And is there any chance that I found an egg in a chest here, too? Is it just hinting where the eggs are, possibly? I hadn't really thought about that, actually. So the chest down here had a rain egg. So that's at least a possibility. Okay, now this is interesting. There are green sparkles that are appearing on the wall under the UV light. What do we suppose that means? They're over here, they're over here. Those appear to be the only two places. Oh, and they just went away. They were there briefly. Was that... Hmm... What caused that? I might have to go review video. Okay, so there's some egg art under UV right here. And this is a screen where I got the Razzle egg long ago. And so maybe it's just every screen that has a chest with an egg, like has egg art on it, possibly. It's a possibility. Here's the green sparkles again. Okay, so why are they happening? And 
Ah. Yeah, and then they just fade away. Like they were there, right where I was standing, and then they just faded away. What does it mean? Okay, I think we might have found the pattern. Because there is some more egg art. I am over here on the map, by the way. And I was checking my notes, and the only chest I found... Oops! Darn it. Didn't mean to hit that. Uh, you can't see it right now, but in the upper right there was a chest with the S-Metal. But there's a chest that I haven't found in here. And so that chest is going to have an egg, because there's an egg art right there that's telling me to go look for an egg here. So, let's, for the first time in a while, find something new. It's a chest! Transcendental egg. Nice. I'm continuing to re-explore the map with UV light. And I guess I could probably see it without. Oops, I just threw another firecracker. Gosh darn it. So basically there's a interesting thing just above me here on the wall. I don't know what to make of it, but I haven't seen it anywhere else, and so it's noteworthy. Now, I haven't been up to this corner of the map in a long time, and I had a note that I wanted to light it up, and definitely under UV light might be even more interesting. But yeah, sadly, kind of nothing. Is there any chance... These guys' eyes light up in green. But that might not be out of the ordinary. And how did I write? I used the yo-yo. Somehow with a trick shot or something? Maybe like this? No, maybe I did it from up here? Yeah. In order to get this guy to come over this way. I don't remember that I actually walked inside this area. If I do that and stop you here, I can be in here, sure. And I can knock these lights around. And I can use my UV light. But yeah, this feels like it's important, but I don't know what to make of it. And I almost didn't notice, but actually... Yeah, just to the right of me, there's a couple more of the symbols that I was just calling out. Okay, where I fought the kangaroo here, there is a kangaroo symbol here too. Okay, now this is interesting. We have a rabbit who has seven vials of something, who's making a stew with two more vials of something. Those ones are empty though. Okay, that's noteworthy. So I've been putting it off for a while, but I think we need to get the mock disc to the mock disc shrine, which means we're going to get chased by the ghost. The shrine is in the upper right above the flame. And so let's just do a dry run. I think after taking the mock disc, what I would need to do is flute to get over here. I presume the ghost will just chase me into here. Then I want to come this way. Then I want to go here and switch to my slinky and do this. And do this little challenge because there's a bunch of screens we have to go through. This screen is pretty straightforward. I just want to go to the right and the ghost will be chasing me. This screen is also pretty straightforward, but I'll want to have my this thing so that I can cross across the top like this. Then I'll need to switch to this tool so that I can open this and then also open this. That's not that many screens. And then here is where I would place the mock disc in the mock disc shrine. So that is the goal. Let's see if we can execute that goal. Okay, moment of truth. I made a backup copy of my save just in case. Let's take the mock disc. And then let's go here. And I presume the ghost is gonna find me and chase me somehow. Then I wanna select my slinky. 
Try not to fail this challenge. There he is. Okay, did that. Then we're just going over here and just continuing to the right. And then I need to have my bubble wand. Oh, there's a, a another spooky something. And then I want to switch to this. And then I want to keep it on that as I go over here. And then I'm going to... Neat! Place the mock disc and that may have extinguished the ghost. And opened the way to get to the next flame. I probably should have done this a long time ago. Because I should have expected that the ghost was going to go away forever once I did that. Um, but now I probably don't have to worry about the ghost anymore. And I believe this is the way down to the flame now. Yeah. And there's a, even a blue fruit here. How nice. All right, so there's the pea flame. There is, oh, this button is also gonna let me go somewhere that I haven't gone before. But let's go ahead and collect the flame. All right, ghost, find the pea flame. I got a steam achievement for that. And also while we're in here, I've never been in this room before. And so I should definitely pull out my UV. And then let's also see what we see over here. Looks like there might be another blue fruit. Let's turn this off for a second. Uh, it's just a normal fruit. All right, fair enough. And I guess I just need to ride this down. And I guess I can kind of take this all the way down. I guess let's leave this on in case I see anything else. But I can do my... What kind of fruit is this? Normal fruit. Uh, what about this? That's a firecracker. I'll take a firecracker, sure. And remind me what's down here. I think I've been down here. Yeah, and probably shine my UV light and things down here. But if not, I'm doing it now. All right. And over here, got one of our red dot circle thingies. And over here, this is just normal fruit. Anything in the ceiling? There is something in the ceiling. Ha 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 ha! Oh, but it turns out that this is something that I've already done. That's a button that I've pressed already. All right, so that's not actually interesting. Rats. Okay, but we made it down to the bottom here, and I guess we can just put away the flame. Uh, I could probably turn off my UV light, too. Um, so which flame did we just get? Probably the one that, with the cat that's lighting up. Beacon. There we go. I've got three or four beacons. And so let's go ahead and save that. And then there was briefly like another spooky ghost that appeared, and so I just want to go back to that screen and see if that happens to be there or if that's something that we also extinguished just now. See, so yeah, I think it might have been on this screen that like one of these statues had like another spooky ghost come out of it. I guess I'll have to review my video to double check, but it doesn't seem to be here in any anymore in any case. So yeah, looking back at the video, it appears that each time the main ghost touched one of these statues, it caused another like phantom dog to come flying across the screen. Um, and so I'd seen a number of these statues around different places. Hmm. That does make me wonder. There was one of these statues where the dog was wearing a bunny costume. And I wonder if I had ever brought the ghost to the dog statue wearing the bunny costume, if something funny would have happened there. Uh, but perhaps I'm never going to find out in this particular save file. Um, okay, but in any case, I think those guys are gone. And then the other thing I want to do is, while I am also going through this uh, ordeal is too strong of a word, but it's a little bit of a trek to get up here. It's kind of a rare screen to visit. I've never actually used my UV filter on this screen. So let's just double check. M-Disc Shrine. Oh, I can B? Oh, I can take it back! I can get the ghost back! Okay. Uh, okay, well then... In that case, I probably maybe do want to... Hmm. I think what I want to do... Oh, I have the mouse cursor on the screen. Sorry about that. I should make a save. Grab the ghost and take him to the dog wearing a bunny costume. 
Yeah, I'm totally going to do that. But first, while I'm here, we have another outstanding mystery. I've never been in a good portion of the screen to the right of me. There might be a place for there to be a secret exit in the upper right uh, of this room. So let's go investigate that, like right up there where the bubble popped is what I'm thinking. Yeah, it seemed like I pressed against that pretty well. And I don't think there's another secret exit here just to like press against. So I'm not sure how else I would get there. Hmm. And actually, hmm, if I die to this ghost, it probably just pops the M disc back in the shrine, I'm guessing. That might be the case. Okay, let me figure out where on the map it was that I saw the uh, dog in the bunny costume. Okay, let's take a look together. So if I go to the fast travel hub, and then I take the middle right exit, which is the bear head over here. And then from here, I can go left up here. And then from here, I think I go down. Let me double check my map. Yeah, I think, is that just it? Yeah, there is the dog wearing the bunny costume. But if I wanted to get the ghost to fly through there, might I have to solve this puzzle? Uh, well, it's not really a puzzle, right? It's just a timing thing and don't get squashed. Seems like it. Oh, and I got squashed. <laughs> okay. Um, I can just practice with that, right? All right, rather than try any more dry runs, let's just go for it. So. I'm going to... Okay, teleport over here. Then I'm coming over here. Then I'm going this way. I didn't need to go that way. I could have gone through the bottom. That's fine. And then... I hear the ghost coming from, like, far away. I guess he's probably, like, the ghost probably can't teleport. I'm thinking... Oh! Okay. There's the ghost. Okay. He hit me once. It's fine. Alright, we're going to see something amazing. Uh, I'm going to have to cycle around, I think. Yeah, that's fine. So let's jump above the ghost and then bring him through here. There's the rabbit! Uh, okay, something went doo loot. So that makes me think. And there's a noise. I don't think I got a steam achievement for that. That's kind of what I was expecting. Um, there is a fruit up here that I'd like to eat. And then, is there a way I can get back to the mock disc shrine? I guess yes. I can just go do the exact same thing I did before to try to put the mock disc back now that I've freed another bunny rabbit or something. And so I want to, except for the ghost might be coming from a different direction this time. Okay, I was so scared of this, but it's actually a lot of fun. <laughs> okay, and then I want to change to here. Um... We might be able to see the ghost touching the dog statues in here again, possibly. Okay, so from here... I can jump over here, and over here, and then I can switch tools to here to open this up. And then I leave it on this tool to open the door on the right over here. And then I can just return this. Great. There's the sound of panting. Oh, it went away. So I guess that's the sound of just like the ghost being off screen maybe as like a slowly panting dog or something. Okay, so I have one final thing that I'm curious about now. Is the dog statue with the bunny ears still there? So let's go take a look. So that would be and that was back over here. And then I can simply fall down here, go to the left, and go down. The dog statue with the bunny ears is gone. So I, like, freed that bunny forever or something, and hopefully something good happens for me. I didn't get any new inventory items. I'm pretty sure I didn't get a Steam achievement. So... 
I don't know. We we freed a bunny. <laughs> we made a bunny happy, hopefully. Ah, uh, this game is weird. I feel like that's probably important for something. I don't know. Some of the side effects of meticulous note keeping is that you notice stuff like that and um yeah you have some insane conspiracy theories but then you also just have a bunch of weird information in your head that causes you to notice things like that so i'm glad i reviewed the video to see that and come up with that idea okay and just because i really enjoy making such tools and showing them off to show how i remembered where the bunny statue is located uh, in my tool, I've added up here a thing where you can, you won't be able to see it because it brings up a separate window, but I can type a regular expression to search my notes for that. And so I'm just searching for the word bunny. And so if I click this, uh, it's probably a little bit hard to see, but there are a couple of places uh, being highlighted on the map. And one of them is right here. <laughs> uh, and I've already updated the note, um, but I had a note here that had dog statue wearing bunny ears and tail. And you can see on the right the actual picture of that screenshot with the uh, dog statue wearing the bunny ears and tail. Um, and yeah, so just by having text notes and screenshots of every grid space on the map, I was able to just search through all of them and instantly locate uh, where was the thing I was looking for. And so that was pretty cool and fun. So I was thinking about the kangaroo again, who I don't know how to make him show up. Uh, but in any case, I am currently... Well, I can just show you on the map. Just a couple left of the main save place. And there's more of these bad guys. I think every time we put another flame beacon on, it causes more of these to appear just in random places throughout the world. And so it's becoming more and more dangerous for me to just kind of like walk through everyday screens. Yeah, I just took some damage over there and I'm probably going to die right here, actually. Let's see if I can jump over this. Nope. All right, so I'm dead. Um, yeah, so I don't know. That's mildly worrisome or annoying, but it's fine. We'll deal with it. Um, so where does that leave me? Uh, I'm not currently at full health or full firecrackers, so I'll try to fill those back up. I would like to fight the kangaroo again. But I can never happen to run into him at a time where I actually have my firecrackers on me. I think there's a firecracker over here. There's a fruit, and I think there's a firecracker right here. Yeah. So now I'm back at full stock of everything. So we'll go ahead and make a save with all of that. And then also, so seahorse dog, cat, whatever you are thing, lizard, and ostrich. I've lost the ostrich boss battle a number of times, and I'm not sure what to do about that. Another thing I was just thinking about, um, in addition to, well, it was specifically like the blue, blue statues on pillars. I was thinking there's lots of animal statues like all around the world. Like, up here. Like, that's kind of an animal statue or whatever. Like, I wonder if the ghost touches any of those. But I think it probably had to be just, like, the dogs that are on the blue pillars or something. I'm guessing. I can't imagine you bring, like, every animal to life. Um, other random thoughts. Basically, I'm not sure what to do right now. I have no idea how to get into the last sections of the map. Um, there's one room over here that I think I have been into that doesn't show up on this map, so it must have been a room that was dark. I had to stop here, right in front of the quacking duck. Let's stop over here instead, where it's quieter. I like the duck, but... Oh, do you quack even? Wait. I guess you just quack periodically whenever you're on the screen, but then you quack consistently when I'm standing right in front of you. Okay, sure. We'll stand over here instead to look at the map together. Um, yeah, I mean, the flame is down there. Uh, this area in the bottom right, like, there's mechanisms that I don't know how to turn off, and they're just, like, moving platforms that keep going up, 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 up. Uh, so I don't know what to do with that. Uh, there is a uh, warp right there, though. Let's go visit that one more time, since that's kind of on the brain. So... 
Right, I can just do this, and then that one is this guy. And I'm going to need my jumpy power up. So here's a place that we've run into the kangaroo a number of times. And in fact, we can even show off the uh, yeah kangaroo art right there. Okay, but he's not here right now because he knows I'm at full power. So here's the room I was talking about that I don't know how to go downwards with this. And so, like, we're over here on the map and there's definitely stuff below me, but I can't, like, stop or turn off this mechanism. And... I mean, the mechanism is only kind of present on a few screens. Okay, how would I stop or turn it off? Let's assume this guy is controlling it. Hey, guy. Can I do something? <gasps> I'm such a dummy. Why did I never think of that before? This is why it's useful to Let's Play, because talking through and demonstrating some ideas on screen, such as the fact that I've seen previously that I have a yo-yo, that guys whose characters, whose eyes light up, they like to follow the yo-yo. Um, but yeah, until I actually visited the screen and was talking through what I wish I could do, I didn't think to actually do it. <laughs> so now these things are going in reverse, and now I can actually move downwards. I wonder if that affects all... The, ooh, I wonder if that affects all the mechanisms everywhere in the world, and the ones above the main save and the main column back up here might also be going upwards instead of downwards now? It's possible. I never thought about that before. And also, yeah, if you listen, let me be quiet for a moment. Now it's not gonna happen. There was what sounded like a cat meowing in the background. And is it on? I don't think it's on this screen. I think it's only on the screens that have the mechanism's going. But there's a few screens around here where I've heard a cat meowing in the background. And speaking of cats... Oh, I just heard him. Alright, well. Uh, there is... Outside the peacock egg... Okay, you might have just been able to hear the cat in the background there. Um, there is a cat... Somewhere just to the right of like the peacock egg thing there. Um kind of a black silhouette kind of thing, too. Maybe the ghost could touch that? I don't know. Alright. Um, well, I have somewhere new to go. <laughs> so that is great, but maybe we'll save that for next time. It's taking so long to record these episodes, but I'm really hopeful that now I can go down here. Like, if we get the fourth flame, like, I think we are actually getting to the end game finally, of this game. Uh, after being firmly in the mid-game for a number of episodes and many, many hours of gameplay. So, I'm going to say I hope as always that you all are having a great day, and I will see you again soon for more Animal Well, where I look forward to discovering a new section of the map. For now, bye-bye.